Stingray parents. By now you should have received an official communication from the district office regarding the lockdown on the HHI cluster. Well, Hilton Head High School placed on lockdown earlier today after the Buford County Sheriff's Office says one student reported a possible threat of gun violence at the school. Our Brooke Butler joins us live from outside the high school in Brooke. How long were students held out of uh, the inside of the building uh, earlier today? Well, Frank, I talked to one parent whose son is a senior here at Hilton Head High School. He texted her at around 1230 saying they were locked down. I actually had that text message exchange here in my hand. He said we're in lockdown. There was a shooter threat. Now, uh, the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office cleared that threat at around 210, and that's when we began to see kids leaving this school. But this threat wasn't the only one being made against schools in the area. At H.E. McCracken Middle School, that's in Bluffton, there were two threats made, according to police. One, where a student wrote on a bathroom wall that someone would shoot up the school on December 10th, that's today. And another, where Bluffton police said a student again wrote on a wall, making a direct threat to the school's vice principal. We're told the juvenile in that second incident has been taken into custody and charged, but an increased law enforcement presence remains at other schools. I want to ensure the Bluffton community, especially the parents and students who attend the Bluffton schools, that the Bluffton Police Department takes every threat seriously. Anytime a, a threat is perceived or reported, we automatically increase um, police presence in those areas. And we should note the Bluffton Police Department says they're investigating another incident at Bluffton Middle School. Frank. Hey, Brooke, how do parents feel about all of this? You mentioned you, you spoke to one at Hilton Head High School. Yeah, Frank, they say that they're frustrated. They're upset that their kids were locked down before they even got any notice from the school district. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Our Brooke Butler reporting live from Hilton Head.